Today, January 5th, we celebrate St. Simeon Stylites. The man we ended up knowing as St. Simeon Stylite, was born in the year 390, in a place what is now Syria. In his ultimate search for God and with great zeal, St. Simeon was expelled from two of his original monasteries due to his excessive habit of penance and self-flagellation. For all these reasons, St. Simeon chose to live a solitary life as a hermit. Therefore, he chose to build a tall tower, like a column. He planned that the base was at the top for him to live. Whenever possible, he increased the height of the tower. The surname of Stylite comes from the Greek word hat means column. It was on top of that column that St. Simeon spent most of his extraordinary life. After his death, the place where the column stood became the sacred place of pilgrimage for the sick and people seeking spiritual advice. He was known to be a pious man with a deep devotion for all creation. In one of his stories, it is said that he healed a huge snake that once settled at the feet of his column. Despite of being a peaceful snake, people were afraid to visit the saint because of it. The legend tells us that one day the snake had one of its eyes badly hurt. The poor animal was suffering very much, and, in its pain, it coiled from and crept up the column, to meet the saint. The saint felt compassion in his heart for the snake, and prayed for its healing. There was so much kindness and compassion in the saint's sight, that the splinter dropped out of the snake's eye, amazingly. The grateful snake lay at the column fencing humbly as a sheep for three days. And when the eye recovered completely, the snakes made for his former hole, and people began again to visit Saint Simeon without fear, being surprised at this miracle. Saint Simeon is known as one of the many saints that were also animal healers. Learn more about other animals patron saints on our website, cathedralofthesoul.org. Saints Who Loved Animals is a daily series provided by the Cathedral of the Soul's Animal Chaplaincy Program. The series aims to raise awareness about the importance of the preservation of species for future generations. It is also a way to bring to life the work of saints and other spiritual and mystic figures that became patrons of our environment and animals. Animals bring a touch of purity and joy to our lives, enabling us to overcome difficulties within an increasingly complex and competitive world. It is imperative to respect and take care of our planet like everything else. It is our home. Earth is our common house. Pope Francis coined this expression in his encyclical called Laudato Si, Blessed Be God, or Care for Our Common House. For more information on the Animal Chaplaincy Program, go to cathedralofthesoul.org.